Hello everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to talk about the things that sold this last week and what kind of profits I got on them. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Margaret. I'm a reselling homeschooling mom that flips things on eBay and Etsy and other platforms to help support my family. And I like to talk about my sales to help give you an idea of what kind of things I've been selling for me, what kind of profits I've been getting, and and all that stuff. I don't normally sell a whole lot of clothes. It's more hard goods, vintage, jewelry, things like that. So if that is your jam, then hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you're notified when I go live or put out new videos. And I am live for this video. So I wanna say hi to everybody who is here live and I'll be coming in the chat in just a little bit. So if you have questions, throw them at the chat because then we can dive into that after we talk about the sales. And if you were waiting, I did get a phone call from a friend because I normally go live around three central on Mondays with this and I'm late inexcusably no it's excusable um, we're having some plumbing issues so I've been dealing with plumber and we're looking at a $900 plumbing fix so I'm not excited about that but that's life right it's just it happens these things happen okay so I'll be back in the chat in just a second and then we'll talk some more so I didn't have a lot of sales this week but I did meet my goal. My goal is to make $200 a week on eBay, Etsy, and these platforms, um, because that way it usually ends up being about $800 to $1,000 by the end of the month. Some weeks are more, some weeks are less, so it all it eventually evens out. And one of my sales from last week, I, I did it both ways where I was like, I don't know if I should count it or not. So I'm counting it this week because I did get it shipped out, so we'll talk about that as well. Okay. So let me screen share four sales this week. Um, but hey, it made my made my goals, so that's good. And what does that tell me that I need to get more listings up, get myself back in back on track? It just my I know personally that it's me not getting things listed. These things happen. I just have to have patience and grace with myself. All right. So this item. It's a pink leather covered journal. I got this in the bins, which is the Goodwill outlet. And uh, the books at the Goodwill outlet are five for a dollar, five for a dollar, so it was 20 cents for me to buy this. I love picking up leather bound journals. Uh, this one is a, it says genuine leather made in Italy. It was super nice, pretty, nice leather. And I actually, I had this listed for a little bit higher, but I, I made a deal with the person and sold it for $35. So I was pretty happy with that. Seeing as I spent 20 cents on it, I was okay with that. Okay, the the sale that we had, that we talked about last week that the buyer was in Japan and bought this, but the shipping came in and the it didn't translate it. It was all in Japanese characters. So... What I went ahead and did was I did try Google Translate to see what would happen. And what I found was pretty straightforward. So I felt very comfortable getting, you know, taking it from Google Translate. Cause basically the numbers were the numbers. And then the words were like the town and the street name. So there were no other extra words in there. So I felt pretty confident going off of Google Translate for that. I'll let you know <laughs> when it's delivered how everything went. So that this the Scotty Dog pin sold for ninety dollars. So that was a really good, a really good sale that I really was not wanting to have to cancel. The next item that sold was a comic book. This was a Doctor Strange comic book. I didn't pay anything for these comics. A friend gave them to me. So this was just profit. This is. Um, this one actually took an offer of $8 on this. So not a huge profit, but hey, when you don't have anything in it, it's uh, definitely, definitely good. I'll profit. Okay, and then my last sale for this week is this Funko Pop figure. This is uh, Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols. <laughs> and this, I had it listed for $200, but took an offer of $150 on it. I was pretty happy about this. 
because I bought this for myself because <laughs> I like the Sex Pistols. So I bought this. I actually have two of them. So I need to get the other one back up there. And I bought them at this like little thrift store when I was still living in Houston. And I bought them for myself for five bucks each there. And I was like, I'll just keep them. I've had them up in the closet. And then when all this stuff hit, I was like, I need to pull out all the toys I can find around the house that are still sealed up and all this stuff. And I, so I did that. And I, when I looked this one up, my jaw hit the floor. And I was like, okay, I'm selling you. And so that's what I that's what I did. So Johnny Rotten, I'm kissing you goodbye and sending you off to your new home. And then I have one more that, again, I will be listing because that is definitely a good sale. So those are my four sales. Pink leather journal. I was trying to find a clever title for this, but I was like, there's no congruency here. It's all like random stuff. But every, I mean, everything sells, right? I guess that could have been it. Like everything sells, definitely. Anyway, so those were my sales. I'm really happy about making my goal, even though I didn't have a lot of sales. I do know that, you know, it's frustrating, especially if this, you know, if eBay, if online selling is your only income or extra income, then it if that was it for me, I would be kind of panicking. So, you know, um, because I make, I have other areas that I bring in income from, but I was talking, you know, to my kids about that because we were talking about when this is all over, we want to go on a trip. We we're talking about like this plumbing bill <laughs> that I have now coming up. Um, and I said, and I told them like, look kids, I could totally be making more money if I was working harder. And that's just the fact of life. Like I said, if I got more stuff listed, you know, I've got a room full of stuff. It's totally on me. Um, then I need to just get my rear in gear. And sometimes when I'm working with y'all or sometimes when we're doing this or that, I could be listing. It's just reality. So I am. Yeah, that's that. Um, I'm going to be working on getting more things listed. When I'm going to find the time, that will be the fun part to figure out. But apparently I can do it while I'm not showering or washing clothes or dishes because my plumbing has been out. So that's what needs to happen. They're not coming to fix it till tomorrow. So I still have a good 24 hours to not wash things and list instead. Uh, I don't mind, I guess, my own, but my kids need a shower I'm just gonna say okay let me jump in the chat if you have any questions um, then we'll, we'll talk about it <laughs> in the chat hello Chrissy and hello Teresa hello Fern thank you for being here hi Veronica um, anyway so let's see hello 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 everybody I'm looking through the chat real fast now I'm looking again oh vintage vibe is waiting for a plumber too they came this morning and they brought the bad news. But what am I going to do? I mean, seriously, it has to be done. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Teresa says, I want to go to the bin so bad, but I don't have childcare right now. And it's an hour away. I feel ya. Yeah. yeah, I I think ours are open here in Austin. And same deal with the childcare. And then also, I'm not sure I would go. I haven't been thrifting since early March. And I'm just so nervous. Like, we've been super careful. And I, I mean, like, I'm no judgment on anybody else for going thrifting. But I'm like, I'm a solo act over here. If, if something happens to me and I go down, who's going to take care of my kids? You know, even if I, even if, knock on wood, like, I don't get it that bad. Still, like, who's cooking? Who's cleaning? Who's schooling? Who's working? You know, so I can't risk it. And so it's just like, oh, Lord, I want to go so bad, but I just hold it out. I have enough to list. But that's, yeah. Do I feel comfortable shopping? Yeah, not right now. But I do miss it. I miss it a lot, definitely. I'm going through the chat. Oh, I just saw something coming. Thank you for this. How do I share that? Okay, here we go. Thank you for that super sticker, Blind Hussy. Thank you, and I, your name just brings a smile to my face. Let me see what I got. I got to give you a sticker back, too. 
How about the pickle dance? Pickle dance cheers us all up. Everybody do the pickle dance. We need a pickle dance song. <laughs> I don't know. What's a good one that like goes to the beat with this one? Boom chicka 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 boom chicka. Okay, I can't have to think of words to go to that. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go back up and um, find some more. I, I know we've got some more questions here. Oh, oh, Saturn girl had to replace their old iron pipes in their house. You found a reasonable perm. Oh man. And the thing is, like, I have a home warranty, which I got because remember when I first moved into this house everything under the sun was wrong with it. So I got a home warranty so that basically anything, it was just like 75 bucks if it was covered. So I was like, whoo, I'm so glad I have this home warranty that I went ahead and kept it on after the first year. The thing is outside. So apparently it's only, the warranty is only for anything within the foundation of the house. So it didn't, it didn't count. Uh, oh, well, it's fine. Uh, Teresa says, eBay tells me to lower my prices all the time. Do others see that too? I see it every now and then. I don't know if I can, if there's a way to snooze it because I don't see it as often as other people apparently, but I don't do it. Don't tell me what to do, eBay. No, I, I do what I, I just leave it. I leave it. Okay. So, oh, uh, thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about the Johnny Rotten. Hopefully the other one. And I do love a good anarchy in the UK, you guys. I'm not going to lie. It's my, I cut my teeth on it. That was my, one of my go-tos in junior high, <laughs> early high school. It's funny because now listening to Sex Pistols, back then it was like so hardcore. Have you listened to Sex Pistols lately? Now it almost sounds like pop music. It's so poppy. It's like you can like do the Carlton dance to some of the songs. <laughs> Really? Um, yeah, there are some punk Funko Pops that sell really well. Some are just kind of like meh, but others, and I had never seen Sex Pistols ones before. I still have, I mean, that, those were the only ones I'd ever seen. And I was like, I'm going to get these just on a whim. Yeah. Um, let's see. Of your listed items, what percentage would you say is jewelry, comics, and other categories? Of what's listed right now, probably majority would be, I'm trying to go back to my shop, jewelry is probably the hugest majority of it. I'm looking at my, off to the side. Books and ephemera, it says I have 83. Oh, okay, that's like comic books. So like 83 things of that, um, are co like collectible knick stuff, but then brace like jewelry, hundreds and hundreds of that stuff, yeah. Most of it's jewelry and my mugs are dwindling. I only have like 12 mugs listed or something. Yeah. So mostly jewelry and then other stuff. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, vintage vibe by Tammy says, I'm surprised I'm selling consistently in the summer. Tommy Bahama and Climb Watch. Nice. I definitely need, yeah, like I say, it's just time. It's time. And then like I want to cook, feed my children and all that. They can eat ramen, which is what they had for lunch today. So, but what did I say I was going to make them for dinner? I told them I was going to feed them right. Orange chicken. I'm making them orange chicken for dinner. <laughs> okay, let's see. I wonder how Frankenboxing works for price. I just want more. I actually did. I don't know if I ever shared that. I, I did a video where I shared a Frankenboxing that I did, but I don't know if I ever uploaded it. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, with some of these priority, if it's priority, I think they, they, it goes by how big it is. So if the measurement across one end is more than I'm guesstimating here, like two feet or something, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to be quoted wrong. <laughs> Somebody's going to accuse me of saying the wrong thing, but I think part of it, you know, goes by weight. And then there's a part of it that goes by physical size. And you can look it up on the USPS site. Oh, I've been getting this headache in my eye too. It's just enough already. Enough stress. Oh, enough. Um, okay. I missed something. My sister, did she help me? I don't know. Maybe I missed something in the chat. Oh, no, you're able to go to the bins. No jewelry and the prices were high. I rarely find jewelry. It's usually in the bottom of the bins and stuff. My child fell, found that money clip 
<sighs> that soul for so much. I trained my children well, apparently. <laughs> um, I feel like I did this. I missed. Hang on. I feel like I'm, I'm seeing some of my comments double. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, my four, you missed my four amazing sales. <laughs> that It worked, right? It, it got me there. It got me there. Let's see. Don't worry about going to the bins. I went twice in North Austin and told that Lego guy hello from you. <laughs> There's a guy that goes and gets all the Lego. He does. I'm like, whatever. That's your jam, dude. <laughs> He gets them all. It's all good. We all have our our we all have our selling jam that we that we follow that we do. My chat is being super duper weird. So if I end up saying the same thing twice, my apologies. I think you're asking about the Franken boxing with the flat rates. You're not allowed to um you're not allowed to Franken box the flat rate pieces. Just regular priority. Like flat rate boxes are, if it fits, it ships, but you can't like deviate from the size. And then there's a certain poundage on the flat rates as well. But most of the time, I don't think it would be super hard to get to that. I think it's like 80 pounds in the padded flat. I don't know. I'm exaggerating. I'm sure. But it's something really like ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Kelsey says, can it take a long time to get a first sale on eBay? I get really good traffic on my card, but still not on eBay. I don't know. Like it, for me, I'm trying to think. eBay does better for me, but I'm trying to remember back to when I first started. When I first started, I did sell a lot more lower ticket item things to get more feedback so that I would, you know, appear to be more season, not seasoned, but more established seller. Uh, so that might be something to consider. And that happened on, on Etsy too. So when I first started on, on Etsy and I didn't sell low on purpose for that reason, I just didn't know any better. And I was just excited to get sales. <laughs> Honestly, I was just like, I just want to make sales and uh, didn't really care at the, at the moment about like getting a whole lot of profits. Cause I was still, when I first, first started on Etsy, I was still teaching and yeah. So I mean, something to consider, maybe get a few things up there that are lower ticket. I don't know. It just kind of depends, yeah. It can take time, but once you become more established, it'll it'll start rolling along, definitely. And if anyone in the chat or comment, you know, leave a comment if you've got better. Sometimes you think of things later. You're like, oh, you know what? I should have brought up that. Or I should have said this. So you know. So if anybody else has tips, then definitely say so. Ah, uh, you were listing some vintage earrings yesterday. Notice they weren't in excellent condition. Do I only list great items? No, nope. I list I list things that have damage or if they're cool pieces, then then I list them. So sometimes I do when I'm taking pictures of things. Like I'll second guess myself and think, why am I taking? Why am I doing this? Why am I taking a picture of this? And then it ends up selling. So so yeah, I. So there are some sellers that will only sell things that are in just like immaculate condition and that's fine. That's their thing. But, but there's all kinds. Yeah. If my, if I got sick, my, no, my sister can't come help me. She's starting school. She's going back to school to be a nurse, you guys. So she, she's got her plate full, you know, and her son's, you know, going to school. Well, yeah, school stuff's going on for her son and, you know, she's going back to school to get her nursing degree, which is super exciting for her. Um, but yeah, that would be cool. But no, <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish I could be here now. Ah, it jumped again. Are there free regular priority supplies or did you use a flat rate box? I'm so confused. Yeah, there are free regular priority supplies. If you go to the USPS site, I can show you real fast. I'll pull it up on my screen share, USPS. If you go to the USPS site, boop, there's a thing over here under quick tools where it's uh, free boxes right there. Click that. And then there's like all of the boxes that you want. And if you want to narrow it down over here, there's priority, flat rate, first class. I didn't know about the first class. What first class mail stuff is there? Hang on. I'm going to hide your comment. So we can see everything. Uh, I'm going to click on that because I'm like, what's the first class stuff? 
do they, oh, it's, no, I want free. No, no, no. That's not what I want. I just want the free stuff. <laughs> free shipping supplies. That's what I want. I, I scrolled too far down. Oops. So yeah, there's um, all kinds of boxes that you can get. Some of them are flat rate. Others are not. Like this is one of my favorites, the shoe box. That's one I like to have on hand because like the the accordion like hooks they fit really well in there and this this is one that i franken box frequently um anyway yeah there's tons on there the padded flat rates i get there's mm, that's not a padded one anyway you can poke, poke through there and they're free they'll send them to you just find the different sizes that you like there's a square one that i like a lot too for the priority yeah okay stop how do i go back there we go okay um and sometimes I've, I, I have ordered, when I first started, like, I was like, I don't know what I need. And so I ordered a bunch of different ones and then realized, like, I have OB'd, I've overboxed, and I had lots of boxes I was never going to use. So all I, I just took them back up to the post office and was like, where can I, you know, they have the boxes there. And so they were just like, yeah, just stick them over there. Somebody will use them. No biggie. No biggie. Uh, for me... Yeah, for me, people prefer older earrings on Etsy than newer ones on eBay. Yeah, I find that too. And sometimes the newer, like more contemporary ones that might be on on eBay don't, don't always sell for as much. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. These are ones that I got in one of my hauls lately that I was like, I'm going to try these out. And they, they're, they've been working. So. <laughs> so, yeah, Veronica says, yeah, listing is consistently is important the other I mean when I was listing the other day when I sold the the orange the yellow bracelet and there was something else that sold like almost immediately as I'm listing I was like Cha ching I'm like oh okay we just needed to like prime the pump get things going again right so all right next oh thank you oh, I love you too I appreciate it that makes me happy <laughs> uh, okay so Da, 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 da. Oh dear, I jumped again. Mm -hmm. I don't know who that, I don't know Pierre Bex, so I'll have to look that up. I will have to do a little bit of digging on that. And maybe I do know and I just forgot because that happens too sometimes. Does that happen to you? Like, oh yeah. Somebody said something to me about a video I did a while back about a brand I was talking about. And I completely forgot I had done the video. And I was like, are you sure that it was my video? I've done <laughs> I've done so many, apparently. I've forgotten what I've already done. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, it keeps jumping, yeah. What's the most common shipping type? I Mine, oh, I just moved up. I was cleaning, or else I had a mountain of boxes around me. I My most used box is a 6 by 4 by 4 that's my most used box for first class mail. Jewelry fits in it. And then the eight by six, six eight by six by four is like the next one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the shoe box one is a really great one to have handy. I like your picture, Sammy. I like your hat. I'm just gonna say, I like it. Ah, uh, what, what does Frankenbox mean? That means when you take a two boxes and you cut them and you like tape them together like crazy and you make a different size shape box that's what that is yep so oh my gosh i don't know secret um uh, the last i don't know how long <laughs> i haven't been able to get one either i still have one sitting right over here staring me in the face or two and a couple thread up boxes that I still haven't opened. I'm I'm saving them for a rainy day. I just I have to like I don't know. I just have some. I can show you. Well, no, I my address is on, on one of the boxes, so I'll better not. But I'm I'm an honest girl. So, how often do I ship games? Not too often. There is the the flat rate ship the game box. It doesn't fit all games, but I'm trying to think of the last game I shipped out. It may have been a, a Lego, technically a toy, but 
not too much. I used to sell more games than I do, but when I downsized a lot of things to sell more jewelry, games, bigger box type stuff was one of the first things to go as far as that. However, I do have a mountain of Lego over here that I need to get on. I drug it out of my closet yesterday so that it would be staring me in the face so I would get it listed. Uh, there's a free, yeah, free game box, USPS. Okay. Nice. Bit, of, bit online, huge collection of watches. Sweet. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, they have, had it misspelled. That'll do, yeah. Do you have to have an actual eBay store to get good sales, or can you sell? No, you can just sell a normal profile. I know some, well, I don't know them personally, but I have heard them say some bigger eBay sellers that they just sell, they don't have a store, they just sell on their, just a regular account. So some people like it, some people don't. I like it. Hang on. My reason is I don't like feeling like I'm being nickeled and dimed even though I know it probably ends up working out the same or it probably ends up, I don't even know. But I, when I hit list an item, whenever I go over my store level or and, the, and then it's like this much per listing and it tells me it's gonna cost me to list the item for whatever reason, there's like a mental thing where I'm like, oh, I don't like that. So that's when I know I need to move up to the next store level. <laughs> It's a men. I mean, it's it's a mental thing. But I just like I don't like feeling like I'm being nickeled and dimed. I'd rather have it in one bill at the end. You know, it's like this is your bill. I know it's it's mental. So, um, <clears throat> what if you don't have an eBay story? Is it worth to start one as a newbie? I wouldn't start one as a newbie personally. Hang on, especially since you can only list so many items. Um, I would wait till you get to the threshold for it's going to end up costing you more to, I can't remember what the first store level is. I never can. But whenever I get, whenever I met that threshold for a number of items I had listed, because then they relist those, you know, and that counts for so many of your spots. And then the new things you list, you only get so many listings per month. Um, once I hit that and then they start charging me, <laughs> mental um then i'm like oh it's time to move up to the next door um but yeah i would wait till you got i can't remember what the first level is but that's just me and again some people don't ever don't ever do it it's just extra if you're a new seller it's just more that you have to pay you know it's also because it's a a monthly fee and if you haven't made any sales on ebay yet I wouldn't want to pay a monthly fee on a site that I'm not making money on. So that's just me. Um, oh yeah. Fran, don't do it. <laughs> run like the run like the wind, like forest, running in the other direction. She says, Hi, I'm new to eBay. My speech seemed random. I was wondering, what do you do if a buyer asks to communicate through text? Nervous about that. Yeah. And I think because I it, it never happens to me. And I think people, you know, scammers or whatever nefarious people they try to target newer sellers because just that like I, they may not know that that that's not normal that's not okay and, and it's against ebay's policy to to um communicate off-site so it can definitely not only hurt them but it would hurt you as well you're yeah um the large game box is not flat right didn't it used to be I thought it was. Things change. Maybe. Maybe it used to be. Maybe it's a, I don't know. I'll have to go check it. I haven't looked for new boxes in a while. So, yeah, I would decline it. Yeah, definitely. And I think there's probably a way to report report it. Mm -hmm. um, ba -ba -bum. It jumped again, you guys. Sorry, I got to go find Got to go find it. Uh, okay, on Blue Box, I discovered it didn't work when I tried to buy on my phone using Chrome, but when you switch to Safari, you got one. Maybe it's faster. <laughs> I'll have to see about that. But I usually use my laptop. Maybe I should try my phone because I haven't. I haven't. Oh, okay, biggest 
suggestion for learning to identify stones like turquoise, amber. It takes time for sure. Um, try to, you know, like, there's one, once you start knowing some of them, just start building on onto that, you know, like ones, like I knew Amber pretty quickly because it was something my mom liked a lot. So just start building on what you know. And then as you start selling more things, it'll, um, it'll get easier. But for sure, like when you find stuff out in the wild, you know, take a chance, you know, on things that you feel that are stone, that you can feel that, you know, they're cold, except for Amber, which is not. Um, yeah, to try to start learning a little bit more about them. And then there's sites like Fire Mountain Gems. I always say it wrong. Fire Mountain Gems. Um, just going and looking at the different types of stones. Here come little feet. They're coming. They're going to be invaded. Yes? Yes? Okay. I'm live. Okay, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, okay. <laughs> so, but it comes, um, definitely, you know, or if you wanted to like try to study it, like just dive into what the blue stones and like, okay, let's see what all different blue ones are out there. Sodalite, lapis, turquoise, you know, and just start familiarizing yourself with, with those and just go from there, yeah. It definitely, it definitely takes time. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, you tried an eBay store, but I don't list over 250 per month. Yeah. And I think because I have 500 something up there, because then they renew. And so that's the 250. And then on top of that, it's like, ah. Oh. Um, okay. Oh, no, to kindly text me offers. Oh, yeah, no, they know. <laughs> they know what they're doing. How many more? Uh oh, how many more Goodwill Outlet treasure? Let's see. I've got I've got a tub over here with like breakables. I've got a couple bags and another tub. I actually have two tubs downstairs from my last trip to the bin. So I need to carry those up. So I got a few more hauls <laughs> and I'm trying to like parcel them out so I don't do the whole like all of it i'm trying to just ration myself because i don't know and once i run out of things to show for haul videos then what <laughs> then what um let's see i just said um oh dear ah it jumped oh dear again <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I hate that I'm not talking. Oh, cool. Patty says thanks for the list perfectly. Yeah, I use list perfectly too now, and that's the one that cross posts onto lots of platforms, and it's super duper fast. I have a link down below for a coupon code, thirty percent off or something like that. But yeah, I mean, you list it on list perfectly, and then you like shoot it over to all the sites. It opens up the windows and then you just list, list, list. And I did it with like the things I already had listed on eBay. I was able to like put, push the button and just quickly it shoots them over to Mercari, Poshmark. It's, it's definitely, it's making it so easy for me that it's almost ridiculous that I haven't been listing. So, uh, oh yeah. I wish eBay was like YouTube, but if in eBay you have to sold a certain amount to get a cool achievement. I want an achievement plaque. I've put it out there. I've sent it out to the universe, but it hasn't happened yet. I guess you have to work hard too. Go figure. But I need to get to that 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> and somebody said if everybody, because I've got 50, how many, 50 something thousand subscribers, like if everybody just invited one person, then I would be, <laughs> I would be at 100,000 tomorrow. But yeah, as much as I put it out into the universe, I still have to actually. Do the hard work. <laughs> That's okay. We'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Um, okay. Okay, still talking about the texting. Okay, how do I mail out necklaces? So depending on the necklace, let me open my drawer here. 
I've got like baggies that Shelby sent me. So working through those baggies, Shelby. <laughs> Thank you. So I've got tons of different sizes of baggies that I'm still going through. Um, so either I'll use that or I've got some boxes. I don't know if I have any handy. I've got different size, like just craft boxes. They're brown that came with the little foamy stuff inside. And I either send them out in a six by four by four box if if there's something movable or breakable. Where's all my stuff? I need to resupply, I need to restock my supply drawer. But then I also have little padded mailers. So if it's something that I don't think would get damaged, I would I'll put that into the padded mailer and send it out that way. So that's what I do. Yeah. Ah, uh, not at all. What do I do to prepare myself for Q4 holiday season? Uh, well, I just try to get as much listed as possible. I try to make sure that I'm in that that mode that my my stuff is going to be showing up, and then you know listing types of things that get bought, like toys, Legos, puzzles. Same. I mean, that's pretty much all I do. I don't do a whole lot. I'm trying to think. I don't know that I do a whole lot else. Just make sure that I've got everything I need, make sure that I'm stocked up on boxes and supplies, tape and everything. Because when you need it during Q4, especially this Q4, it might be harder to get. Yeah. Oh, Veronica is asking if I'm still doing print on demand. I'm still getting money from it. So <laughs> hallelujah to that. I, I haven't designed a shirt in a bunch of months, six or more months. Um, so print on demand, if you guys are new and like, what are you talking about? So one of the ways I make money is print on demand, which means like all I have to do is create a design, a picture, an image. And then uh, on Amazon has, it's called Merch by Amazon, but also Printful, Etsy, there's different Redbubble, Teespring, all of these sites. You put your designs up there for shirts or hats or whatever. And then you don't, that's pretty much it. Once the person that buys your shirt will go with Amazon. Amazon will print the shirt because they have the printing machines. They ship it. They deal with all the customer service and then you get a royalty for it. So let's say I had a $20 shirt, then I would get maybe like five bucks or so. It's probably less now. So that's one of the ways I make money. I used to do a whole, whole, whole lot more of it. I did a, we did a lot of videos. We had a weekly video that we did, you know, the merch talk videos that we did. Um, and I'm super grateful that I spent all the time I did uploading as many shirts as I did because I'm now, you know, I haven't done it in a while, but I'm still getting the, the payouts from it. So, whoo, that's been really good. Some, I mean, it's up and down, but I think it was like 250 bucks last month, which that's not bad in my books for not having done anything in a months and months and months. And then it usually goes up a different season. So Q4, usually the print on demand stuff, like, cause people are buying, buying presents, but it would be something else that would be good for me to do. But there's just only so much, so many times in the day. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, good books on gemstones. Yeah, definitely. Ah, the jump that cat. Okay, we talked about that. I feel like some of these, some of the comments are getting. Yeah, I still use list perfectly when I list. So, and that's another thing. It's like I'm paying for it every month. I'm like Margaret, you got to get on this. I don't want to let it go because I like it. But if I'm not using it, no, but I'm going to be using it when I'm listing. It's so, I mean, it makes it so fast. Definitely. Uh, do I list daily? I try to list daily. My goal is between five and 10 a day, but I haven't been listing daily lately. But the list perfectly does help me list a lot faster. Ah, oh, yeah, that's sassy. A lot of people have been saying that email is not sending notification. Oh, not sending email notifications. I don't know if. Are they just sending like, like a alert notification, like as a not a text, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I got that one already. eBay payments. Yeah, um, yeah. This is like the the eBay payments are coming once a month. 
I'm used to that with Etsy. So uh, I don't mind it too, too much. Ah, this is a good one. So what happens if I sell the same item from, at the same time from two different sites? I can now say that it's happened twice in seven years. And usually I just, some people have said that, that the right thing to do is to give it to the person who bought it first and cancel the other sale. That may be the right thing to do. But what I do is if the person that bought it on eBay was the first person, then, then I'm doing the right thing. If the person that was the first person was on Etsy, then, well, sorry. Um, but who, who will know? Who would know? Right. I, morality, Margaret. Look at your morals out the window. But I usually cancel the sale on the site that's not eBay because eBay has a different system as far as how they rank sellers and things like that. And they give you a, you know, like a penalty sort of for canceling a sale. I know that's not the right term for it. I can't think of the right term, uh, but they fault you when you cancel sales and don't fulfill sales that people have made and on all that. So, and there's no, there's nothing like that on Etsy or, I don't know about Mercari and Poshmark, but okay, that's my cat. So yeah, I, I usually give it to the eBay, even if the Etsy one was more, because sometimes it is, you know, yeah. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. All right, let's see. Hello, hello. We still, yeah, we're just answering questions now, Thomas. I'm glad you made it. Yay. Ah, uh, let's see. Holiday items year round. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you what, this. Do you go to Goodwill bins in other areas? When I was, there's one on the south side of Austin that I go would go to maybe a couple times a month because it's kind of far for me. But those are the only ones I've been to. There's one in Houston now, which I was not there whenever I lived there. But Houston is like, if you've ever been, it's ginormous. So it was probably at least an hour from away where I lived anyway, because that's just the nature of Houston. It's like an hour to get anywhere. Okay. Uh, how do you design? And I've got a million videos on that. And the site that I liked to use is called, oh, did it change names again? Make Merch Art is what it was. It might have changed again. But I have, a, I think I have a coupon code for that one too. But basically, I don't, I was a, not a good designer. <laughs> but the site would made it super duper easy because it had all the clip art and it was like verified stuff that you could use for free. It had fonts already in there. So you could pull in pictures from what they had and you, you know, apply filters and make your own little, just play around with it. My kids would do it. And I did start trying to teach myself Adobe. Uh, to create my own designs, which was really fun because I like making mashups and like I made like a hot dog mermaid and stuff like that and like pickle Santa, fun things, kind of silly. Uh, but I'm, I was not, it was a big learning curve for me to try that. So I enjoyed the ones where I could just like drop in the image. That was the best one for me. Okay, next. Let's see, do you have to have an Amazon account to do merch or does merch have a separate account? That's a good question because I did have an Amazon when I was selling on Amazon, um, like FBA, but I, I don't think you have to have that. I think you can do it separately. You can sign up. Yeah. Why don't I use Am? Yeah, I don't sell like resell on Amazon and I've had other people ask me that too. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's just time, I think. Um, bah, 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 bah. When is my birthday? It's in May. May 19th. I'm a Taurus. <laughs> okay, the only way to get notifications is to set the Chrome notifications in the setting. Oh, okay. Let's see. Ah, jump. Yes, I started late. I'm having plumbing issues. That's why. That's why. Okay, I'm catching back up. How's my food plan going? It's going pretty well. Uh, I had a rough weekend, so kind of fell off the wagon a little bit over the weekend, but still stuck mostly on, y'all, toast is my, my uh, like my comfort food. One of them is toast. 
And so I had some toast. <laughs> Gluten free, but still toast. Yeah. But I'm doing pretty well. I, I need to get physical. Let's get physical. Yeah, need to get physical. Start doing a little workout. So um okay. Looking, I'm looking. Yeah, I enjoy going to the bins. I miss it, definitely. I miss it. Am I familiar with I I'm I'm familiar with Louisa Hay, like the the author, Louisa Hay? Is that you you mean? So yeah. Can you give advice about organization when you have um, have one point to I think I need clarification on that. So I guess clarify. I'm not sure what you mean there. Do, 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 do. Okay. So unless I see that popping in in just a second, then we're going to call it. And yeah, the next, one of the next videos, I keep, I keep teasing out this copper jewelry that I'm going to do a camera down video for, but things just keep happening. So now I've got, I'll deal with that hopefully soon. <laughs> the plumbing, I mean, in my brain, I'm still thinking about the plumbing. Okay. I appreciate you all coming and hanging out today. Make sure you go down there and leave me a thumbs up because, you know, it's nice. It's nice and fun and friendly. And I will talk to you on the next one. And I appreciate, again, that you are being here. Bye, everybody. Have a great, great evening. See you later.